Two in Jamaica is a night owl, but it's a particularly ugly bird. So whenever a Jamaican hears my name's Patu, they give me a moi, Patu. How would I describe Pat? Loyal, cheeky, broke but alive and stubborn. The thing with Pat, he's always incredibly late. He's late. He was always late. I used to tell him the gig was like an hour or so earlier than, and he'd still be late. I mean, I smile when I think about him straight away. Been there, done it all, toured the world. On stage with him, I just in awe of his sound that he can get. I'm drumming on the outside, on the inside, I'm going. The moon belongs to everyone. The best things in life are free. Stars belong to everyone. They gleam there for you and for me. He's a singer, singer. So Pat is your singer, singer. You know, the velvet voice. Oh, I know it's over. I went to Germany in 77. Believe me, I know. At that point, I was kind of sick of England. Our houses and apartments, you know, like no blacks, no dogs, no Irish. People didn't want to talk to you. People didn't want to sit with you and uh, call you black so-and-so. I got a girl pregnant after about a year and a half here. Oh, my parents weren't ever together. It was in the period where I wasn't happy with Australia, but I didn't want to leave a fatherless child, so I decided to stay. If I speak to Jamaicans about the fact that I have four kids with four different women, that, you know, like it's not a surprise. If I say the same thing to an Australian, generally it's, oh my God, your life must be hell. That's so complicated. How difficult is that? And I'm like, well, it's not. And it's not if you put the kids first. But I think his children are a good legacy to what he's accomplished. You look at them and they're all very different. In a world of Kardashians, they're the pals. 